welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Saturday, January the 21st, 2023. My name is Brian J. Monroe. I'm pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. And I am reading to you from the Revised Common Lectionary. We are in the Epiphany, season of Epiphany, Saturday before the third Sunday after the Epiphany uh, in year A. And we'll be reading from Psalm 27, our repeated psalm, until Monday, when it will change. And a continue, part of a semi-continuous reading in 1 Samuel. And today we have a reading from the Gospel according to Luke. So let us begin with Psalm 27 of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. One thing have I asked of the Lord, that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To gaze, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. And I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and make melody to the Lord. And now from 1 Samuel uh, chapter 15 verses uh, 34 to chapter 16 verse uh, 13, another anointing, this one David. Then Samuel went to Ramah and Saul went up to his house in Gibeah of Saul. And Samuel did not see Saul again until the day of his death. But Samuel grieved over Saul, and the Lord regretted that he had made Saul king over Israel. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you grieve over Saul, since I have rejected him from being king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and go. I will send you to Jesse, the Bethlehemite, for I have provided for myself a king among his sons. And Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hears it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, Take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord, and invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show you what you shall do, and you shall anoint for me him who I declare to you. Samuel did what the Lord commanded and came to Bethlehem. The elders of the city came to meet him trembling and said, Do you come peaceably? And he said peaceably, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. When they came, he looked on Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. And then Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Then Jesse made Shammah pass by. And he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. And Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel. And Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen these. Then Samuel said to Jesse, Are all your sons here? And he said, There remains yet the youngest, but behold, he is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and get him, for we will not sit down until he comes here. And he sent and brought him in. Now. He was ruddy and had beautiful eyes and was handsome. And the Lord said, Arise, 
anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David from that day forward. And Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. And now our reading from the New Testament, from the Gospel according to Luke. We read from chapter 5, verses 27 to 32, yet another calling. After this, Jesus went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And leaving everything, he rose and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his house, and there was a large company of tax collectors and others reclining at table with them. And the Pharisees and their scribes grumbled at his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? And Jesus answered them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God. May you be praised for its generous provision unto us. And grant, Father, that we go from being people who merely hear your word or read your word to being people who do it. Father God, allow your Holy Spirit to bring your word into our minds, into our hearts, into our very souls, and therein have it achieve what is pleasing in us to your will. We pray this to your great glory in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. Amen. Again, friends, I commend you. Taking time to listen to scripture daily or read it daily is an excellent spiritual discipline. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of that. Until we can be together tomorrow to hear tomorrow's readings, I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ. Shalom. Shalom.